Tonight, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is giving us some rare insight into a study that may just help prevent the spread of coronavirus. That's because he's enrolled in the study. Last week, Henry Ford Health System began enrollment in their study to test whether hydroxychloroquine might be effective in preventing people from developing COVID-19. Our Dr. McGeorge recently joined this study as a frontline healthcare worker in the emergency room where he is being exposed to the virus during every shift. Let's uh, bring him in to talk about the importance of studies like this, Frank. Yeah, guys, you know, the simple fact is that despite all the hype, we really don't know whether hydroxychloroquine can treat or prevent COVID-19. To really know that answer with certainty calls for the gold standard of study designs, a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study. And that's what we have here in these pills. Let's break down what that means. WIP COVID stands for Will Hydroxychloroquine uh, Impede or Prevent COVID-19, and that, that's the question of the hour. Dr. Stephen Kalkanis is the CEO of the Henry Ford Medical Group. This trial specifically is geared toward first responders and healthcare workers. The WIP COVID-19 study is in the elite group of double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled studies. Here's what double-blind means. Is that the people administering the drug, the study organizers, and the people participating in the study, neither side knows which group is getting the placebo and which is getting the active drug. That's important to eliminate any bias in the way someone's belief about the medication might alter their symptoms, behavior, or outcome. Basically, there's a master list used at the end of the study to decode who received what, but until that code is unlocked, it's a secret to everyone. Randomized means every participant is randomly assigned with equal chance to a treatment or placebo group. That's important to eliminate the possibility that more people with one type of exposure or risk factor are overrepresented in one group. Finally, a placebo control means every single one of the 3,000 participants in this trial will get the same identical looking packets of pills, same number, they, they look and feel and even taste the same. But some are getting medications and some aren't. That's also important to eliminate any bias. And so far, enrollment is going strong. Right now, of the 3,000 spaces we have in this trial, we have about 1,200 uh, who have signed up. Uh, we are actively looking for other participants. Now, the study is open to City of Detroit first responders, that's police, fire, and EMS, as well as DDOT bus drivers and verified employees of any, any Southeast Michigan hospital system. Now, more information can be found on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Back to you. Frank, I got two quick questions for you. First, how long before this study is complete? Well, so participants take eight weeks of the study pills and then data will be analyzed. So even though this study was organized in record time, any answer is frankly still several months away. And a second, Doc, if we've got a disease where 99% of the people recover from the disease, doesn't that make it really hard to prove a, a cure? Well, that's a very important point. And this, this particular study is not actually looking for cure or the treatment rate. This is looking for prevention rate. And that's why the blood draws are especially important. There yeah. are blood draws during the study. And what we're looking for is an antibody response to suggest someone may have been yeah. infected or not, and whether or not these medications prevent you from getting infected based on whether or not you received a placebo or an actual medication. And I don't know which one this is for the record. Yeah, right. Really important distinction. All right, Frank. Kim.